Hey, Ron Burton's back, and so is Daenerys Targaryen. Many years after fleeing from the capital, she has returned with an army predominantly of. She's got a lot of heavy infantry. She's also got a couple of dragons. So we'll see how we get on against her. We are in the process of gathering some troops together. We do have our massive King's Landing stack heading on up. Unfortunately, we can't do anything about this attrition because the majority of the forces do not belong to us, which is slightly unfortunate. And what's this? Who have you actually captured? That is what I want to know. Foleman, Belmore. Belmore. Okay, we'll, we'll ask you to uh, transfer these prisoners. Excellent. Thank you very much for that. So let's see if we can sneak our reinforcements back around. Um, she's actually in the process here of going against Seagar. The good thing is it doesn't appear as if she's using the dragon. I'm not sure if that's entirely a good thing or not. We're suffering slight attrition there. Supply limit is 11,000. So I think we're okay to leave them at 11,000 for now. <clears throat> we'll send you guys down here to actually take care of these particular ones. Oh, that's good news. It looks like the Baratheons have... Uh, not the Baratheons, sorry. Um, Stormlanders have gone ahead and disengaged, so that will free us up a little bit. <clears throat> we still suffer from attrition though, because the supply limit is 19,000. Bar Raymond, he's already on the list. And if you want to see just how large the list has grown now, watch. There we go. The majority of them, it was from Rollenfield down, are the ones who have declared against me. So they're the ones who'll pay. Um, so what I'll do is, in fact, let's keep this up. It's actually better so you can see the sieges, see the armies. Okay. Thankfully for us, she's not moving too fast. Um, I don't know why she decided to land in the Riverlands, but that's uh, that's her decision. That's her mistake. It's given us plenty of time to organise our troops, get our people where we want them to be. And we'll probably go in with more force than we are needing. So what we want to try and do is get our people as close to as possible, but keep the armies separate, so that way the supply limit isn't as bad. So how many people? Oh, we've got another 2,000 people there. We are going to keep suffering from attrition in that particular region. Um, can we do anything about it? If we were to split in half, we could do something, so let's try. <clears throat> it means we still have enough there. And then we'll try and get all our people to join in together. Brilliant. How does it go everywhere else? Uh, my prisoner, Bendar of Strong Song, is complaining about his dark cell in the dungeon. He's asking me for more suitable accommodations. Hmm. Well, you, sir, I think we will uh, let you rot. And um, so far in Cockleswent, we are taking the territory which was uh, so easily left undefended for ourselves. 34,000 men stand protecting King's Landing, but so far it looks as if Daenerys has no plans for it at this very moment. The rest of her armies are languishing in the Basilisk Skies over on Talon, so that's going to be a somewhat stupid mistake for her. Right, everyone gather together. We want you to cross the river, please. So if you can get up here, we'll have my main force forward. We'll get you to take care of these people in our rear. Now, I'm not too sure how many people to throw at this, only because we don't know what sort of an effect the dragon will have. Now, let's just quickly double check that the dragons first are healthy and that they are still alive. So we've got Drogon. Drogon is appears to be healthy. Yes, we know. She rides Drogon. What about Rago? No one appears to be with Rhaegal. Oh, went off that by accident. Let's try the next one, Viserion. Right, okay. So we'll see what we're able to do here. We are going to be suffering from attrition. I am going to start slowly moving my men up as best I can. That will hold you back for a moment. We want to minimise the attrition where possible. Brune, you're already on the list, yes. 
Uh, yeah, we'll try and minimise it where we can, otherwise we're just going to lose far too many troops and we're about to lose troops anyway when we go into this main battle. Now, we have people pulsing on up, they've moved into the next position, excellent, we'll get you moving here as well. How close can we get though? So we're pretty much in a very good position to start moving. So I think, let's just double check. They have more men, so they've got 25,000. Actually, they've got more than that. Okay. So first thing, we're going to join these armies together. We're going to join you guys together in Rushmore. In fact, we'll join you together in Stilfen. And we'll try and get you to move as two separate armies, maybe. Concubine is pregnant again. Celsi, finally. That's not too bad at all. Right, I think we are about ready. We're suffering attrition on both sides. Let's conjoin these together. Let's join these together. I think we're ready to go. We've got 30 or 1,000 in that one. We've got 30 or 1,000 in this one. Okay, so John Connington, he's going to be leading one of them. Ronald Storm and Athos will be leading the other. Oh no, in fact, we'll give it to Richard Hawk. You can have uh, Roland Storm with you. I am not going to be in this battle though. John Connington, Loris, and Walder the Red. Okay, that's what we've got. That's what we're going to commit to. Let's start moving our people in. Are you seriously not going to be coming with me, Reachman Army? That's better. Right, we are about to go in. They have just taken control of Seaguard's main holding. They actually sieged that all the way down. So let's carry on. So let's see when we'll be there. We'll be in the 17th. They'll be there on the 17th as well. This should be okay for us. Let's see how it goes. Corbury, you're already on our list. Yes, indeed you are. You'll suffer the consequences, as will you, Orkman. You're not on the list. Oh, come on. I need at least one Iron Islander to be uh, faithful. Um, what are you doing? Well, you don't fall under us, so I can't actually command you to stop it. I'm sure Lady Sansa will have more than enough to deal with this. Just before we go into that, let's make sure that we're not wasting any troops. So we've got 4,000 here. Uh, I think we should start pushing them up just in case. So we'll push them up to Darylands. I'll actually get you guys pushed across this way. We've got more armies of the Reach heading our way as well. And we'll push you deeper into Ashmark. Okay, I think we've pretty much done all that we can. Strong Song is about to fall as well. Let's see how we get on. May the Lord of Light protect us. The first army has gone ahead and arrived. So, let's see how these people stack up. Well, where is Daenerys? Is she not actually with them? No one's actually commanding them. That is a grievous mistake. We're suffering a penalty for a river crossing, which is why we are going to be overdoing it with yet more people. Have we just lost our second army? Where is our second army? Are they there? Yes, they are, they're there. No, they're not. Are they part of this army? Have they joined Gunter of the Reach? That's very odd. My courtier Richard Foote has expressed a desire to get married. You can marry as you please, sir. We do have the men, they do have some small amounts of people coming down to help them, but I think we've got this pretty much under control. So we've defeated her forces, and that was actually quite easy. There you go, our forces did arrive then. Brilliant. Okay, so what we need to do is make sure that we are chasing them. They are actually going down to Old Stones, and we'll leave one army there to liberate Sea Guard. Um, but was she actually with them? No, Western Dornish coast, it was a distraction. She's here. 
Now where would these be heading to? Her first army has been crushed. Has she picked up the people from the Basilisk Isles? She has. Right, okay. So she, we know we've got another 16,000 and this one should have a dragon on board. So let's go ahead and remove our Master of Whisperers. We'll put him back in the capital. We'll do him to scheme, please. Um, and we'll see where these people are going to. So that was them. Was I would say we would try to weaken our forces, but it hasn't really. We crushed them like we said we were going to do. And now we're going to chase what's left of them. Um, we've actually got them in the pincer right now. They're already fleeing from us. We have to be wary just in case the dragon does arrive. Uh, let's go ahead and just assault Seaguard. There we go, we've taken Seaguard back. Excellent. Um, and that's fine. Where are they heading to now? Marley Bay. Let's go ahead and follow them to Marley Bay. Uh, John Con, you'll remain there. That would be very nice of you. There's not too much else that we can do until we discover where it is she's actually heading to. Now we've lost her. Where has she gone? Brought a fair sea she's in. So is it all the way around here? Has she already gone past this? It'll be near fair out. There we go. So it looks like she's going to be landing in the same place. Now we already have troops there. We can't allow her to join up with these people though. <coughs> So let's make sure that we're able to do this. Strong Son has gone ahead and fallen, so we'll head into the next piece of territory. Wasker at 76% now. She needs to do something spectacular in order to turn this war around. Looks like they're going to go to the same place again. So we're actually going to be meeting them. So are they going to the Cape of Eagles, it looks like? Let's go ahead and get rid of these people first. We need to keep chasing them down. Excellent, we've taken control of that. Now where is she landing? They're heading into Blackwater Rush. I'm a little bit worried that she's lulling us away. Because if she's landing with a dragon, and it's a fairly equal force against the forces there, we might actually lose those people. But mind you, we've got like 32,000. Um, let's head into Black Rush. We'll follow them. And we'll see what's what. Don't forget as well, we've got these 4,000 troops sitting here watching this place be sieged down. So we'll go ahead and we'll take that back as well. Right, let's see where she turns. What she turns up with, should we say. Here she goes. So 14,000. They're actually heading to the Twins. And she is with them. So they're going to the Twins. We're going to... Uh, try and get to the twins first we'll be there in the 17th she'll be there in the 10th <clears throat> we can meet her in the twins i'd rather defend at the twins hopefully by that time we will have gone ahead and defeated this army so she's decided to stop so we too are going to stop we're going to wait for reinforcements before we go in we're going to try and play this as smart as we can we've gone ahead and defeated them they're going to blackwood vale Let's head down into Blackwood Vale and we'll see what we can do there. We'll send this army up to um, Glitterdale now. How are we doing in the south? So all lands have been taken. I'm going to leave 4,000 troops there. I'm going to send the rest of you up to River Run. Uh, you're going to Darryland, which is fine. Okay, so let's carry on then. So far, so good. Who is her heir? I've not actually retained that information. <laughs> her heir is my son. The prince that was promised. Surely this is a sign. Right, very easily they've taken Cape of Eagles. I don't think she's messing about this time. What a shame she wasn't a little bit smarter with that. We could have been in some trouble if she had the entire force come at us at once. We'll go ahead and just assault that. Where they're heading to? They're heading to Brandstone, so let's head to Brandstone and take care of them as well. Apologies that I keep having to pause, it's uh, difficult trying to manage these things on so many fronts. Uh, like here for example, let's send them over. Right, she's on the move, she's going to the Twins, so let's get to the Twins first. Will that change her mind? Yes it will indeed, she stopped. So we're just going to try and put her off the best we can at the moment. 
Right, I think we've gone ahead and we've defeated the majority and let's get on up to Seagart. We're not going to need you guys, we'll send you up as well. We'll send you guys up to Marley Bay. Can we split you into two? What have they got defence wise? 688. Yeah, we'll actually keep you guys together. <clears throat> Um, so the war rages on and, oh my god, I don't feel too well, something is wrong with me, I'm burning out with fever, my nose is running, my head feels as if someone is banging something hard against it. Please kill me, I've become ill, this cannot happen, the life drains from me. Whew, what can we do about this? We're still protected I believe. I'm pretty sure we are. We've got one last Lannister to burn. Do we dare? I think we will. She's 13 years old. Melisandre says, We are so close to winning this war, my king. We must do everything we can. You must not fall. Your son is not yet strong enough to uh, maintain the realm. Our hands are being forced. We must do this. There we go. She's been burnt alive. Um, what can we do now? We can cure ourselves from our ailments, which I believe we are going to do. We cannot take that chance. Right. All men march to Seaguard. She doesn't appear to be moving. It looks like she is somewhat cornered. She is sieging down Eagles Town, it looks like. And we've had a little revolt go on at time being. Let's get you guys down here. Everyone else appears to be okay. Perfect. Okay. So we're going to see how the men stack up in a moment. So she's got a nice mix there. On the move again. Have a guess where to. The twins. But once again we are going to meet them there. What I would like to do is somewhat balance this force a little bit. So let's put our strongest in the middle. Ideally, even amounts on the sides, and that'll do for now. We do have um, allies there with us. The Reachman army is with us. It looks like they've stopped. They're actually moving to Seaguard now, so let us stop. Let us meet them in Seaguard. We do have people coming in on the 18th. Let's stop these reinforcements. She stopped as well. That's fine. I thought we were going to try and lull her into a little bit of a trap, you see. Uh, finally, it looks like we've got the Iron Throne army heading up here. They've been on quite a long journey, these people. She's heading to the Freylands again. And the twins. So I think what we'll do is stop her. We've had a victory in Darry as well, which is great for ourselves. We've got 7,000 men, so we're going to carry on sieging that down also. So, we very close to possibly the final major engagement in this war. It's the first time that we're going to be facing a dragon. Let's hope we have the men, we have the fortitude and we have the belief in our gods to take care of Daenerys Targaryen. For ours is the fury and she will know it very, very soon. I'll see you guys in the next one.